Hi, this is Joel from Highbury Pools. Several years ago, we released a new method of measuring swimming pools, the picture measuring system, or as it's more affectionately called, PMS. The response from our dealers has been phenomenal. With nearly half of our orders being picture measured, we thought now the time is right to produce a video to, that talks about some of the finer points of picture measuring. In this video, I'm going to be going over some of the best practices for picture taking and possibly some other methods for uploading should you need it. So as you can see here, I'm on site with a mostly empty swimming pool. Don't worry about that little bit of water, a depth measurement will take care of that. Um, by the good graces of one of our dealers, I've been able to come here and uh, share this pool with you and we're going to just go through the photo set and talk about some of the do's and don'ts. One of the common pitfalls that I see all too often is people tend to focus too much on the foreground, what's right in front of them. So I'll get pictures that look something like this. Note that my toe is in the picture, I get that a lot. What you really want to do is you want to take several pictures from one position so that you've captured the entirety of the pool from where you're standing. Move over and then repeat the process. So it would be click, click, click. Note that I've taken the entirety of the pool from this position using three pictures. You can use as many as it takes depending on the size and shape of the pool, but that's generally what it takes, three. So then I would just take a big stride, rinse and repeat, click, click, click. Note that I'm capturing the deck down. I'm not concerned with the neighbor's yard or the fence over there or that pool over there. I'm just concerned with what I can see from the coping down. So in a moment, I'm going to take a full set and then we'll run through it each picture. So you'll notice in the picture set that I've just shown you, you'll see that I'm moving around a lot to various positions of the pool. That's because it's better to have more triangulation. Simply put, it's best to have a few pictures from a lot of positions than a lot of pictures from a few positions. And people fall into this trap all too often. The mantra should be, as many pictures as it takes to capture the pool from as many positions as possible. This would create better triangulation and allow for a better, more densely constructed model that will give us better measurements in the end. Now formerly we were telling people not to use cell phones. This very video and these pictures I'm using my cell phone, I must admit. Um, it's true that point-and-shoot cameras and SLRs do have the advantage in terms of pixel density and lens quality and so on and so forth. Uh, but these days, cell phones are actually plenty good enough. You, you'd be hard-pressed to find a phone that's bad enough to not be able to use picture measuring. And actually, there's an added advantage to using cell phones. If you turn on your uh, GPS location data for your camera, it uh, saves EXIF data, the GPS location, for every photo and that data is actually extracted and used in the process of aligning the photos. So if you don't know if it's turned on, I encourage you to look up your device model and make sure that it is because it does in fact help a lot.
Thank <laughs> you.